Welcome back to the video for Bird. Today I'll be teaching you how to make an action model. My first action model, actually. So, um, it's a bird. It may not look much like a bird. More like, I don't know what it is. But the point is, it actually is more like this way. But what it does is that it can pocket pocket's head or whatever it's just and poke you with its head. Or whatever you want to call it. And then it can flap its wings. If you push the tail. Let's learn how to hold it. So we're, I'm going to start it for no reason whatsoever with a brown 8-inch um, square of tissue foil. And we're going to start with white side up for the white wings and the black body. Or colored body. What we're going to do, we're going to start by making a pinch. By holding edge to edge and making a pinch on the left side. Then... Pull the edge to that pinch and make another pinch on the left side. And then, what you're going to do is you're going to take the top right corner and fold it to, oops, um, sorry, the, fold it to the, near, the pinch we just made. Make another pinch. Now what you're going to do so you're going to make a crease from the pinch you just made all the way across so that the edges still align. So, from this pinch, line it up. And to make it all the way across, and this time not a pinch, so it's going to look like this. Now, unfold, and we're going to crease the diagonal that goes from the bottom left corner to the top right corner. Only crease that diagonal, it's very important. Then, make a crease going from this intersection all the way across. And unfold. Now, create a rabbit ear with those two folds. As you bring it up. Line it up a bit. Obviously, mine's not working out, so we're going to fix that a bit. Good enough. Okay, now what you're going to do is you are going to fold so that you create. Well, first, you want to fold this edge to this one where the colors meet and all the way across. And fold the whole thing. Unfold. Now we're gonna oh, we're gonna close sink it. So we're, we have the um. This is a pretty simple model, but it's still not recommended for beginners or at least people who don't have experience with the sinks. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna see this these creases. Oops, let me make sure my computer doesn't turn off. You're gonna have these creases. So here, here, and here. You're going to make them all mountain folds. It's easiest to start with the one on the right side. If you're holding it like I am. And then the one on the left side. The, one, the two sides. Then here comes the fun part. Here I'm just going to squash it in. So push. And just kind of relaxingly just squash it. Put, poke it in to, to itself. And flatten. Make sure it doesn't rip. And fold to the side. Oops. I mean, we don't fold to the side, sorry. What you're going to do now is you're going to turn over. Actually, no, you're not going to turn over. Sorry. You're going to rotate 90 degrees and repeat. Except we have a bit shorter this time. So we're going to open it up. Of course, there's a simpler to this, but I think this is a bit more fun. So you're just going to push those points in. Okay. Yeah. 
and you know, flatten it. Oops, um, yeah, right side. So you're gonna make those new creases. Now what you're gonna do, let me check my original model. Okay, what you're gonna do, so you are gonna make a crease. So you're basically gonna fold here to here, and make a reverse fold. I know I'm wrong, I don't know why. Oh yeah, we, I was right. So what you're gonna do, is you're gonna make a fold from this point to this point. Crease, now you're just gonna push it inside. You're not gonna make, Kind of, you're not really gonna make a reverse hold, you just kind of push it inside. I guess it is a reverse hold. Now, as you see, this is gonna be the pecking motion. And what you're gonna do now, once you, think, once you even it out, is you're gonna, this is to taste, um, basically gonna make the beak by folding this edge to around here like that, and then you're gonna reverse fold it. This time it was true reverse fold. Now, this part's a bit no fun, but what we're gonna do is we are going to, well, it, actually, sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. What you're gonna do is you're gonna hold it in the air so it's slightly out, slightly isn't, and you're gonna make a, a, a valley fold around here is also to taste. So around that, and then you're gonna open it up slightly, not completely, otherwise it'll rip. And you're just gonna poke it in just like in close sink it. Okay, and we're gonna have the bird head. Now I know the body's a bit big. But now what we're gonna do, is I'm gonna make a few changes. Actually, no, we're not. We're gonna use the original model. Then, we're gonna turn to this side. And we are gonna fold this corner to this corner. Don't fo fully crease the, um, the, the edge, the other, the other layers. You're gonna now slightly open it up, put it, tuck it inside, and we crease it. Then what you're gonna do is you are gonna fold this edge to here, and then you're gonna make a reverse fold, making, and then you're basically gonna fold down, making a valley fold like this and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold this so that it looks like this so you're basically gonna fold flatten it this is a slightly complex model like, like I meant to say earlier but it's not too bad then you're gonna repeat on the other side Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold these up, and, you're, and this is gonna be the wings. Now, you're gonna open it up, pivot it, swivel hold it, so that the wings are 3D. You should make, you just kinda swivel it a bit, crease right around here and here, so you have the wings. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold it in half, We have the wings. We're just gonna make the tail by tucking this back with the reverse fold that we don't really need any pre creasing for. And our model is done. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.